Hello and welcome back to the Gorgeous Legacy channel. In this video, we'll explore how to create a dark theme for our PYQT6 application. The technique that we're going to discuss can be used to create any kind of theme, not just a dark theme. So we could create a light theme, blue theme, a green theme, whatever. All right, so let's get started. Now, before we actually begin, there's a concept I need to tell you guys, the concept of CSS style sheets. This is a concept that PYQT6 uses. Now, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with CSS. CSS is basically a language, not, not a language, it's more like a way of styling our HTML code, our HTML content in websites. And basically, PYQT6 uses a system that's inspired by that. Uh, it's called QSS, and it shares many similarities, the same property names, and etc etc and we'll see that in today's video so if you're familiar with css then great then this video is going to be pretty easy for you otherwise don't worry uh, the concepts are pretty easy so here i have a basic uh, window all right a window widget and then there's a bunch of other widgets inside of it and as you can see from the widgets this is basically a small form okay and let me just comment that out that's for later all right, so all of these is basically representing a login form in PYQT6. Now I'm going to run this code and you'll see that it's already in dark theme. Okay, I've already added the dark theme style sheets. Okay, see, looks pretty good, right? And yeah, pretty cool. Let's type in something one, two, three, four, five. Code is legacy over here. Yep. And uh, now you, you gotta admit the color contrast is pretty nice over here. Uh, the gray is contrasts very well. This is basically what a dark theme looks like. And ironically, my VS code right here that you see right here is also on dark theme. Okay, so how did I do this? Let's take a look at that. I'm going to come down here and here we can see our style sheet. A style sheet, as I mentioned, defines these properties that control how our widgets look like and just to be clear we call this function on our application you can also call this on individual widgets but when i apply it on the application it applies to every widget inside the application this is basically a multi-line string okay and these like this this is basically the styles for each widget okay and yeah pretty much and just to be clear like in the queue label, I haven't defined a background color or anything. There's only color, but there's still other default properties. The ones that you change over here will override the default ones. Okay, that's important to keep in mind. Now, this is about as far as I'm going to go as to explaining what CSS style sheets are. I have a separate video on CSS style sheets where we take a look at them in great detail. Right now, I just want to discuss some brief things about dark theme and mode and stuff. If you want to learn how to customize this style sheet better, then I advise you to go check out that video. Okay, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But yeah, uh, how is this exactly giving us a dark theme effect? Basically, what, I, what I've done here is mainly changed the background color and color options. Basically, I changed it from the default text color of black to white. This is white. I've changed it to white, white everywhere. See, all the text is now white. All right, in the background color, this is the background color for the Q line edit and Q text edit widgets. It's gray uh, that we saw in the, you know, application. And there's some hover effects that we can give the button. And you can see over here basically what's really going on. And we've basically simulated a kind of dark theme effect. Now, just to kind of hit make the concept hit home, I'm going to add this widget into our application. All right. And then I'm basically going to use that to show you how it really looks like. Let me just put this in three, one and move these down a bit. Okay. And just verify. Oh, whoops. Com box. All right. And here. Okay. There it is. See? Oh, and interestingly, did I define the combo box styles? I don't think I did. What's happened here, or I think it's this. Just maybe, ah, yes, I got it. Okay, so interestingly, um, I realized this for the first time as well, but 
this is the Q widget, okay? The Q widget that basically is the window. And if you define a background color over there, it's basically gonna kind of look like it's affecting everything, basically. And it changes the background color of everything inside it. It changes the color, and which is kind of interesting. I rem if we just remove this, then yeah, it's still it's still white. Basically, applying those styles downwards to it to its children. We could just remove this. We could remove this. We could remove quite a few, quite a bit of this. Come to think of it. And we could just keep adding in widgets, and chances are that they're gonna they're gonna look just fine. All right, uh, but yeah, I think we're deviating a bit too much from from the point of this tutorial. I think we've already kind of gotten the point across. You add new widgets, and then you can customize the new things inside them. You can customize the color, like you can define the color white here. But let's say you don't want the button, for example, to be white. You want it to be gray. So you can go ahead and say color and then pick uh, a gray let's take this gray this is gray let's make it a more darker gray all right so like this now that's probably not a good idea Whoop. typo you need to add in that semicolon and there we go see we just gave the buttons a very dark gray actually that's almost black so we can override these colors as well. This applies to the whole thing, but we can also override it on a widget level. And these are, these are just some basic things I kind of wanted to get across to you. Basically what I'm going to do is take the style sheet and make it available on my website. I'll throw in a bunch of extra uh, widget styles as well. So you guys can just copy paste it from there and then make some modifications as needed to your application. All right. So I'll leave the link in the description below. This video is more, mostly for informative purposes. Hope you guys found it useful one thing i will mention that if you don't want to go to the bother of creating your own style sheet for a dark theme or something then you can always go online and just pick up a style sheet from there that they already have all these styles defined then from there just you know copy paste it into your own code you can find many of these av available online but you know it's not really that much effort to do it yourself and you can you know customize it to yourself and you don't always need to define the styles for every single widget only the ones that you're actually using which chances are you won't be using more than six or seven maybe ten at most so yeah it's really not that big of a deal but again you can always go online be sure to let me know if you guys make any custom style sheets of your own all right maybe share them in the comment section below see you guys in a later video